and welcome to DNQ Football, where we're stepping outside of our Minnow Nation comfort zone to bring you our predictions for the 2022 World Cup, which starts in just over a month's time. A Winter World Cup, Ryan, but looking forward to it all the same. Oh, absolutely. It's kind of put a different feel mm. to this kind of October, November, the same time of year. And um, I'm looking forward to this. What will be a fairly, what will we say, sort of a short and snappy, quick fire uh, preview and prediction of how we see the tournament um, playing out. And there's going to be hundreds of, of these kind of videos. There but 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 it's very, very likely that none of them will be as accurate as the predictions and preview you're about to witness here on DNQ Football. Now, mate, we're starting with group stage. Then we go to round of 16 and then quarter, semis, finals. But we're doing it on this pretty decent little telegraph mm, um, yeah. site, which makes it all super seamless for us. It does, and we will put a link in the description of this video. Why don't yes. you try it out yourselves, see who you come up with as the winner, and don't forget to comment who you think will win the World Cup. Should, mm. we, just, should we get to it? Should we get straight on with it? We're Let's straight get in cracking. to the group stages. Group A, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. Mm. Is there a part of you that when you see all of these flags laid out, in this it, it just i don't know what it is it's just the flags are laid out in the groups it gets me buzzing for the world cup it just it feels it's a new tournament of course it just feels clean and fresh mm, and like mm. um, it just feels amazing mate um group a is a really interesting group um with qatar obviously hosting the tournament um ecuador and senegal and the netherlands for me netherlands to go through top spot how would you want to do this? George, should we chat through and then agree or should we just punch in as we go? I'm thinking, mate, Netherlands top, mm -hmm. Senegal to come second. Mm -hmm. oh, and then I, I, I'm feeling Ecuador, Qatar uh, for Group A. What it, is that aligned with your thinking, my friend? Uh, same sides to go through, but different order. I think that Senegal are going to top this group. What? I'm going to go out there and say it there. Off the back of... No, seriously. I think, I, th I think Senegal are going to top this group. I think they're going to pit the Dutch to top spot. How? Um, <laughs> there, Afcon, Afcon winners. Um, they've got a good squad. I don't think that the Dutch are that good. I think I think, I think they're okay. defensively. I think they're defensively very very solid. It's going to come um, down to the head to head, right? It will. Yeah, Between yeah. No, two sides. We, and who do you think that. wins that match? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a very accurate prediction. Well, I said, yeah. All right, I see you what. All right, all right, let's go. Hey, let's you you go. We said that we were going to be accurate here. And we were going to be very different, and you know, look. So let's do it. Senegal. Senegal, then the Netherlands, and then yeah. I'm happy to go Ecuador. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. matter. Let's let's drop let's drop those sides in there. So we've got Senegal, and that's a, and we both agree on Senegal <laughs> to run out Group A winners. It's ballsy. But you've got to be different. You've got to yeah, be different okay, okay, okay. We're going to both agree, right? All right, slight bias because we are English, but England have got to drop Group B. Yes, yeah, England to win Group B. Second spot's interesting, mate. The mm. second spot is interesting. I think Wales. I think Wales. I've thought about it, and I think Iran, USA, Wales. Now, Wales, I think, are on the decline of their golden generation, but I think they've still got enough quality there that will... Right, if you think about it, I think England are going to win all three games. I'm, I'm massively biased. Whenever it comes to a, a major international tournament, I say England are going to win it. You do, yeah. I do, I do. So I think England are going to win all three matches. And then Wales, when they play against the USA and Iran, who do you think has got the better players? So I, I actually think that the USA are going to come bottom of this group. Yeah. I, I actually think that don't uh, Iran sit, co go to pretty much every World Cup and yeah. they actually compete quite well and the USA have got genuinely like three good players and they're not they, as they, good they, as Wales as good players and, and I don't think I, I just so, feel like it's match day one England play Iran. Yeah. Um, or did England play the USA? I can't remember um, what, what the order is but basically I agree. I think Wales will go through. 
And then mm. I think Iran will come third and I think the USA will come fourth. Well, there we go. That's Group B. I'm going to hit you with some really quick C. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. Argentina. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm doubting myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Argentina, Poland, Mexico, Saudi. Oh, what? You think I that know. Poland will beat Mexico? No, I don't actually. No, Mexico are good at World Cups, aren't they? They're they really are good at World Cups. They're ridiculously good. Could they top the group? Could they top the group? No, it's Argentina for me. Will top this group, but I genuinely look at it and I go, okay. I feel like Saudi versus Poland could be a random draw. Like, if you look at who Saudi are going to take points off of, I think they're more likely to take points off of Poland. I don't think, mm. I don't think Poland are that good. I think they've been good in previous years. Lewandowski. They've, yeah, but they've had him for a long time. But they at least had Levin. some supporting cast. Lewandowski. Levin. Lewandowski. Uh, Lewandowski. I think. I'm going to go Slap Argentina, in. Mexico. Argentina, Mexico, Poland, Saudi, Saudi Arabia. But I do Drop think Saudi will compete. Six. Saudi Arabia are a good footballing nation. Um, I would be surprised if we don't agree on Group D. I know I agree with your points there. Sorry, yeah. I've interjected. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to Group D and I think we'd agree here. France to Denmark. win it. Denmark second. Yeah. Um, Tunisia, Australia. It kind of doesn't matter at that point, does it? Uh, I would say... I would actually say Tunisia. But so France to win, Denmark to come second in Group D. Group E, talk me through it. Costa Rica bottom. <laughs> I thought you'd frozen. You took so long. <laughs> no, Costa I thought you'd Rica frozen. Bottom. You took so long. Yeah, okay. So the debate is, who are Japan going to beat? Uh, Japan are beating Costa Rica. I'm going Germany top. Yeah. Then I'm going Spain, yeah. then Japan, then Costa Rica. Yeah. But I yeah. do think that Spain will actually struggle a bit against Japan. No, I, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't know if I. I I'm, again, I think this. We know the top two. I think it comes down to when they play each other. What the result will it be? Should, that uh, should be the top two. Yeah. So Germany, Germany, and Spain to, to top that. That's Group E. That's how we're seeing it. Group F is quite an interesting one. Again, yeah. I'd be surprised if we. If I'd be surprised if we disagreed. Though I think Belgium will win the group. Mm. Um, for me, Belgium will win the group and then they'll come unstuck in the knockout stages like they normally do. Belgium to win the group. And then the second spot to me goes to Croatia because Croatia are still, they're not quite over that golden generation yet. The likes of Perisic and Modric, they're older now, but they're still playing at the highest level and they're still very, very good players. And that's why I think Croatia will come second. Do you agree or disagree? I do agree because good. I think if you were to replace Morocco with Senegal or Cameroon even, I might have a slightly different view, but I don't think that Morocco is strong enough. I'm putting Canada uh, on the top, by the way. Yeah, I fine. That's Morocco absolutely fine. Strong enough to, so to we, we've, we've, gone for, we've gone for Belgium and then Croatia. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice. G, give me your thoughts on G quickly. Again, I'd say that Switzerland have a Mexico vibe about them. They always get out of the group, it seems, at World yeah. Cups. I'd go Brazil and Switzerland. Agree. Yeah, I completely agree there. Switzerland just have this knack of getting out of the groups, don't they? And, and then they think always Serbia then Cameroon. Yeah, I, I, I agree there. Switzerland have this knack of getting out of the groups and then giving, but then giving one of the mm. the favourites a real good game. Yeah. I think they um, they came close against France, didn't they, they in did, the last yeah. World Cup? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Group H, my thoughts here are Portugal to win it, mm -hmm. and then Uruguay in second. That's my thoughts. I'd love to go for some Ghana drama, but I, um, but I, don't, I don't think see that Ghana, way. I think that, oh, I just don't know enough about Uruguayan players because don't forget that Son, Hyun Min and South Korea, they do have some passion. They have an enormous amount of passion, but Portugal are going to win that group and Uruguay are going to come uh, Okay, all right, second, you gave me Senegal to top the other group, so fine. Let me have that one, come on. I'll let you have that one. And we're into the round of 16 where we start, because of my predictions, with Senegal-Wales. Yeah. Which is why, yeah, I mean, so as an England fan, we almost sort of wouldn't want that. Because no, I know no, that in the next one, it's going to be England versus Netherlands. Yeah. yeah. So Senegal versus Wales. And I think Senegal will then win that football match. They've got quality. They've got um, 
strong players in key positions that will they'll have more quality than Wales. Uh, match fifty, which I believe is England. Obviously, so you can see this. So it's match fifty is Argentina oh, okay. Denmark. You lead. You lead now. You yeah, lead because yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't see your screen now. So yeah, go on. Yeah. What was that? It's Argentina Denmark. So Argentina. No, I disagree. Denmark. What? Denmark. <laughs> Denmark, mate. Trust me, I gave you Senegal. Denmark will beat Argentina. Den- Denmark are very, very good at the moment, mate. You're going Denmark to beat Lionel Messi's probably final World Cup Argentina. Yeah, I completely agree. With yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree with myself. My opinion. No, I agree with it. All right, fine. You've gone. I've given you Senegal twice in a row now. But, yeah, right, I've given you Senegal. Denmark to beat Argentina. I'd Denmark will beat Argentina. England versus the Netherlands. I think that we would beat them. England will win that match. France, Mexico. France to beat Mexico in what will be a tight and exciting game. Yeah, I feel like Mexico were better at the last World Cup than they'll be at this one. Raúl Jiménez is a key player for them. Not played much, injured all nah. the time. I just think I think France is still a very good side. Obviously, the holders of the World Cup. Germany very versus so. Croatia. Oh, interesting. Germany to edge out the Croatians in that one. I would say you so. agree. Yeah, nice. and then there's an all South American clash between Brazil and Uruguay. Oh, and Brazil, Neymar Jr. Yeah. and Lucas Paqueta. And the Brazilian team to um, be victorious in that one. So give us the quarterfinal lineup, then, mate. Just rattle through the games. eight. You've missed two games. There's two more to go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You've got sorry. Belgium versus Spain. Oh, hoo, hoo. Spain to win. Oh. oh, oh, come on! I gave you Senegal. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Spain would beat Belgium? Because Belgium crumble. Um, you think Belgium would crumble at the... this stage? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, Spain are far be... better team, but Belgium do have better players. They've got De Bruyne. And Lukaku. Eh. Eh. You think past his peak. Okay, I'll... yeah, I don't... Yeah. yeah, Belgium always crumble. Uh, and then the interesting one is Portugal, Switzerland. Oh. Switzerland to win. <laughs> you don't agree. Uh, mate, Portugal have got go... good players. I'm going to go Portugal. Bernardo Silva, Bernardo, um, you've got Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, you've got um, Andre Silva up front's a good player. You've is got... Pepe still playing for Portugal? He can't be, can he? Well, he's, he's got 42. hair now, so all, all things are possible. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Portugal in that game. Then, yeah, nice. Ultimately, the quarterfinals, as as we see them, are Senegal, Denmark, yeah, Germany, oh, Brazil, nice. England, France, and Spain, oh, Portugal. Really nice. That's a lovely quarterfinal lineup, and for anyone watching, that will be the quarterfinal lineup mm-hmm. um, for the World Denmark. Cup. And so, so you're welcome. You're welcome there. And Denmark, Senegal, Tom, there. I Denmark think if Den- if Denmark had got- if Denmark get to this stage, I think that they would beat Senegal. Denmark will beat Senegal in that one and earn a place in the semi final. Why? Sorry, can I just just as a general question? Can we just take a second? Yeah. What is it about Denmark? that you think makes them World Cup semi-finalists? Watching them at the Euros. Okay. They were brilliant. Such a team. Such a strong team. Um, and they moved so the ball really, really well. The England the only won... Um, they, we knocked them out in the semi-final. A dubious Harry Kane penalty rebound in extra time. They gave us a really good game. So they came runners up in that versus AFCON winners Senegal. Yeah. We're going Denmark to win. Denmark to win. Germany Denmark versus win. Brazil. Germany to win. No, you don't agree? I don't. I think that Brazil could win this World Cup. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I Germany think, aren't... I, I, I just think Germany are a very, very good team and this would be a fantastic game. I just feel like Brazil are actually the best they've been probably since 2002. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy to go with that. Your call there, and Brazil to edge out Germany in the quarterfinal. Are we going to get a bit of home bias with England, France? No, I would say the one team that I'd feel really yeah. that we that we wouldn't have the. I feel that we'd struggle against France. I feel like that we would. We're not coming into the World Cup in in great form, to no, be honest. No, we're not. And um, France. France, I think in you know we predicted that we'd edge out the Netherlands. That would be a tough game. I think France would beat us in the quarterfinal. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, we need a bit of a magic, a bit of magic from um, someone like 
Mexico or something like that. We need someone to basically knock out France before we would get them in the quarters. Mm. Um, because I, I think we will win the group, but we need to avoid France at all costs. Mm. Uh, we haven't played France, I don't think, competitively in quite a long time. Um, and I just think Mbappe, I don't really like him as a person, but I think he would rip us to shreds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've, they've got, yeah, they're, they're, plus all their they're, other players. they're 11. Yeah, they'd, they'd give Spain us a, a Spain versus Portugal. Oh, it's so hard to call this one. Well, it was 3 3, wasn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, it was. That was a stunning yeah, game, wasn't it? Incredible game. Ronaldo hat trick. Where, where's what's your first your what's your first thought here? Mine's Spain. weirdly Portugal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Portugal are good in this derby game. They are good in. This they are. Game. They are. They are good in this derby but game. I think that basically, since um, Ronaldo's kind of left La Liga, I don't really watch it as much anymore, and you kind of don't appreciate how many good Spanish players there are. True. 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 So yeah. Spain go through. Spain yeah. go through there. And then let's wrap up with the semi-finals and the final. And then what will also have to be hilarious is after the World Cup, we'll have to watch this back yeah, and react will. to this, yeah, which will be hilarious. Man. The confidence that I started with. Semi-finals, mate. Come on, what have we got? Denmark, Brazil, France, Spain. Uh, Brazil to beat Denmark, France to beat Spain is my early shouts there. Do you agree? I completely agree, which moves us very quickly on to a final between probably the best two teams in the world at the moment. That would... It would be an amazing final if it, yeah. is, if it does pan out like this. Would this be a replay of 2002? Did Brazil play yes. France in the final in that one? No, they beat they beat Germany 2-0, I thought. They must have played France earlier than in that tournament. Oh. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think they did beat Germany um, in that one. I thought it was 2-0. Rivaldo got both. No, Ronaldo. It was Germany. Germany-Brazil. Mm. 2-0 Brazil and Ronaldo. Ronaldo but, got both uh, in the final. But yeah, obviously France holders of the World Cup. Brazil with yeah, I think uh, Brazil. I think are the number one team in the world at the moment after their incredible World Cup qualification campaign. Who do you think mm. would win out of Brazil and France in Doha? I think Brazil would win against France in the final in Doha. Do what about you? Disagree. And there we go. That makes it was... our winner Brazil. Um, and 19% of players also predict Brazil to win. So not that wow. many, no. uh, but certainly a few. The most predicted to win by readers of the Telegraph. Uh, Argentina are actually top, the side that you said would go out to Denmark. Yeah, um, they will. Then Brazil, and in third place a lot. is England. Mm. So, yeah, Denmark. Yeah, Denmark's run will, will surprise a few people, but because you've watched this video on DNQ yeah, Football, you won't be surprised at all. He won't surprise you at all. Uh, and don't forget as well, like uh, I know it's their air-conditioned stadiums and things like that, but Brazil and, and the South American sides might have a slight edge on some of the other teams um, from from around the world. So we saw that in Brazil, didn't we? Um, a little bit with England's just complete inability uh, at, at many times um, mm. to play in those conditions. <laughs> um, but we have predicted Brazil to be the winner of the 2022 World Cup. And uh, let's just quickly do it. Do you think in the third place playoff between Denmark and Spain, who do you think would win? Denmark. Denmark third. <laughs> We're going Brazil first, France runners up, and Denmark third. Who do you think will win the 2022 World Cup? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.